but still the definition of the family is driving the interaction. That's what I'm saying. The majority of us don't want to give up our family. <clears throat> There's no such thing as our family. There's only one family, God's family, of which you are a brother or a sister. You don't have any children. God has children. You created the bodies for them. They're not your children, they're God's. You don't have a mother or father. The only mother and father you have is God. God created your soul, that's your mother and father. Oh, your so-called mum and dad did was create bodies that you got into. At some point in your future, you will actually feel it like that. Right? But there's a huge amount of resistance on this planet to feeling it like that. A huge amount of resistance. We want to have ownership of a family. We even want to own our own children because we believe they're our own. We believe that we did some magical thing to create them, which often only took five minutes. <laughs> uh, how much design do you reckon God put into the soul in comparison to that? Like, honestly, we, we are so arrogant. We, we believe, you know, we have, the, we have this belief that we own our children just from uh, having sex. We then own them. Uh, anybody can have sex. And wh why does that give you the right to own them? They're not even yours in the first place. The soul comes from God. Like it's God's creation. God's their father and mother. The reason why we have most of these definitions about family is because we're holding on to specific emotions about family that eventually, at some point in the future, we'll need to confront and release. Yeah. And honestly, they harm our society so much. They harm our society so much, these concepts of family that we hold on to. But you think about it. You walk along the street, you see a, a child being, being pummeled by its parent, like violent abuse. What do you do? Say something. No, the average person doesn't say anything. No, walk, straight walk straight past. The average person says, "They're the mother. She's got the right to do that. None of my business. Of my business. That's what the average person does, isn't it? <laughs> the average person does nothing. Right? What do we do when an adult gets pummeled by another adult? What do we do then? We call the police. We call the police. And we will be even a witness in a court case that might even eventuate in the person who did it going to jail. Right? But if we see a child getting smacked by its parent, what do we do? Nothing. And the reason why we do nothing is because there's a society definition of family that we have accepted, or if not accepted, we feel we have to accept. Can you see that? That's why we do nothing. And, it, and that one issue, like how many children grow up to be adults? How many of these children, every single one of them, grow up to be an adult who's had violent abuse in, in its childhood right? that we've all overlooked because it's normal? Right? But then when they become an adult, they've got to somehow understand that it's not right to hit somebody else. How are they going to understand that? We've just told them for the last 20 years that it's okay for them to be hit any time they want, they, that mum and dad decided. That's what we've taught them. So how do we expect them then when they're 20 to stop hitting somebody else when they're not happy? How can we expect that? We can't, you see. And, and this is all because of our definition of family. So if you think you've got no held on definition of family, I would suggest that you need to have a good look at your denial. Because <laughs> all of us have these definitions of family that we've got just holding on to, holding on to, holding on to. We're okay with society holding on to them. 
And yet, and yet many times it results in the abuse of children, abuse that we would not accept if it was happening to an adult. We, we accept it happening to a child, but we cannot accept it happening to an adult. Now that's hypocrisy, is it not? And in fact, it's worse than hypocrisy because a child can't defend itself in any way, and yet we allow it. So why do these things occur? Because of our definition of family. Like We think that it's not right to take a child away from its parent. Why do we think that? It's not its parent. Who's its parent? God's its parent. Right. So it's not its parent. God's its parent. So why wouldn't we take action to, as a community to take the child away from an abusive parent? Why wouldn't we take that action? It's only because of our definition of family. Yeah. That we don't, we don't take any action. Yeah. Many of us, all of us, have definitions of family we're not letting go of. We have definitions of family in terms of relationship, mum and dad relationship, that we want things from them. Right? Here's us. We want things from them. We want to believe things about them that we don't want to let go. Yeah. Unless we see that there is this sort of umbilical cord <laughs> driving a lot of our life and a lot of our decisions and a lot of our day-to-day -day decisions in normal life, unless we see it's there, we will never get out of the denial of it, let alone progress into the place where we understand that God's our father, God's our mother, we are all brothers and sisters, no one has the right to hit another. No one has the right to harm another. It doesn't matter if that other is a child that they created the bodies for or not. Okay.